On the day of September 11th, 2001, it was morning again in New York City. People were headed to work and children to school. It was business as usual. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Thanks for joining us on the Monday morning show. <laughs> Walk over the wall, we'll show you what it looks like. Uh, this shot showing you lower Manhattan, and everything is actually in pretty good shape now as we work into. But in a few hours, the grounds of New York would be shaken and the course of history altered forever. Members of Al Qaeda terrorists hijacked three passenger planes and carried out coordinated suicide attacks against the World Trade Center and the Pentagon. At 8.46 a.m., the first plane hit the North Tower between the 93rd and 99th floor. America shook, and so did the world. At 9.03 a.m., the second plane hit the South Tower, and at 9.37 a.m., the third plane hit the western facade of the Pentagon. A fourth plane was initially planned to hit another high-profile landmark, but some brave souls aboard the flight learned about the attacks in New York and tried to retake the plane. As a result, the hijackers crashed the plane into a field in Somerset County, Pennsylvania, killing all 40 passengers and crew members on board. The aftermath of the events of that day were grim, and its horrifying experiences left the country wounded. But even in the midst of great troubles and mourning came an overwhelming sense of service to the community. You know, service um, comes in so many different forms. Uh, you know, from serving all over the, the world, literally all over the world. Coming back home and serving the community means me getting out there and actually working with our youth, our community, our school. And uh, no better job to have uh, than uh, being represented in the United States Army here at Hilo High School at our JRTC program. And that's the same voice I have with our cadets. It's service before yourself, and uh, for me, it's my availability to the kids, our community, and our school that really means service. When you, you look at uh, beyond your day and your times, and uh, you put out uh, a third of, of your day is for yourself, and the other two thirds are for others around you, and that's, that's service to me. The meaning of service is the ability to serve others and mentor them. Service is relevant to the youth because it teaches everyone how to be selfless, and help everyone out in tough times. You know, participating in service uh, for, 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 what, for foremost has, has, has got to be something selfless. You have to have that, that sense of being that there's not gonna be any reward attached to it, no award attached to it. Um, you know, getting involved with service starts with you and recognizing that you can help other people uh, through whatever abilities you have. Everyone has something to offer someone else. And we, we share it, our program, and we try to emulate that voice throughout our high school with the leadership classes and the students, student activities, student councils, uh, that the ability to serve your, your, your community at high school and your ability to serve our community uh, out in Hilo uh, is always out there. But you have to apply yourself and go out there and actually find those needs. And it always, it's always got to start with you. And then going out there and seeking uh, the service where it's needed. Um, you can do that through multiple different organizations, but I, I would say, you know, just start with yourself. Start with your surrounding areas and look around your neighbors, look around your neighborhood, see who needs help. In my future, I plan on opening a welding business where I can teach young adults and high schoolers how to weld because it provides an essential service to the world and the community. My plans and hope for the future is to give my time and service to others that are in need. From the search and rescue operations on the site of the attacks to the individual sense of altruism towards others, we found strength in the power of our unity. Unity that comes from compassion. On the day of September 11th, 2021, we pay our highest tribute to the bravest and most compassionate people who not only volunteered to serve our community and country, but also formed a unified coalition in the midst of turbulent times. We shall find great content in knowing that their legacy of service lives on for generations to come.